Hi, this is Mark Christensen with BIDimensions.com. Do you ever need to make up some test data when you're using Pentaho Kettle or PDI? Well, there's one really cool step called the data grid that we can use to mock up some data because a lot of times you don't necessarily have your data source ready. And you still want to get going on stuff. So let's uh, take a look at this. It's called the data grid. Let's open it up. And we have two tabs here. We have the meta tab and the data tab. So the first is the meta. This lets you define what different uh, fields you want with your data. So let's uh, come in here and we'll do something like um, uh, first name and maybe a last name and maybe a zip code. Oh. And we have to see what kind of type the data is. So we'll pick a string for the first name and last name we'll also pick a string and let's just use an integer for our zip code. I know not all postal codes are integers, but uh, we'll just pretend they are. We have some other stuff here. We have formats, links, precisions, currency, decimal group, set empty string that uh, we won't go into right now. Those all let you uh, kind of uh, play with the, the data a little bit, play with your formats a little bit. If we click over here to data, you'll see we now have our first, our last, our zip. So let's say we have uh, Tom Smith and let's say he's in zip code 55021 and then we have Mary if I could type Mary Jones in zip code 12345 and we can preview this and sure enough there we have our data Tom Smith in zip code 55021, Mary Jones in 12345. So this is just a, a real nice little step you can use to generate data. I find I don't use it a whole lot in production applications, but certainly when I'm developing them, I'll use the data grid to create my test data so I can get going on stuff. I thank you much for your time and attention. If you have any other questions or want to learn more about Pentaho Kettle or open source BI tools, please swing by bidimensions.com. Thank you very much.